traditionally uh, uh, we have been caught or captured uh, really in the in the oculars okay we're used to work in the bubble with the oculars because that's where we got the best image quality but now working with heads-up display really opens up a, a whole new area uh, in, in the OR. And probably you need to divide this by image quality and ergonomics in the OR. Uh, you have to think about augmented reality and what kind of information can we introduce when we use heads-up displays. And the whole new setup, the whole new setup of an OR when we perform surgery. Working for the last 20 years uh, in uh, several fields of neurosurgery, but uh, mainly in neurovascular. The modern development of uh, surgical imaging is really taking the image that we have had for the past uh, many decades, but really adding information to what we get in the OR. But only now in the last four to five years, digital imaging in the OR has come to challenge the optical imaging. Of course, resolution, its uh, depth of field is the color, the tissue characterization that we have through uh, the, the classical optical imaging. We have been spoiled by excellent binocular optic view. And the digital microscopy really, I think, had to catch up. In my experience now uh, using the Arveo and the heads-up display is that we are there. We have excellent resolution on these uh, uh, ultra high definition screens or 4K screens uh, and, and this is very key because we need excellent resolution to differentiate subtle changes in tissue characteristics. Then the 3D perception is very comparable to the binocular view. That means the surgeon is not getting tired. Uh, I think we can do longer surgery. And we also get that depth of field that also is a key component since we're moving very fine instruments in and out of deep cavities. And we need to have an excellent depth of field and an excellent 3D perception. The other thing is that you can indeed work in angles um, that maybe you were not quite able to because of of body position with the binoculars. I think there needs to be more experience, but I feel it opens up possibilities in microsurgery that maybe we have not uh, uh, been able to really uh, explore to the fullest extent.